Elon Musk reveals new hydrogen car that shocked the auto industry. Tesla CEO Elon Musk just stunned the automotive industry with his latest news on the debut of a new hydrogen car that is allegedly 20% cheaper to operate than a gasoline car. Not only that, the new hydrogen car doesn't produce any emissions. This could mean huge changes for the future of our planet and how we use transportation. Let's get into more details on this amazing news. Hello everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Planet. If you're like most people, you probably think that electric cars are the future. But what about hydrogen cars? That's right, there's a new hydrogen car that's revolutionizing the industry and it's even more impressive than you thought. Elon Musk recently shared his thoughts on this new invention, a hydrogen car that's already on the road and has shot the automotive industry. This is an exciting development that could eventually lead to the extinction of gasoline cars. This is something that could change the history of the automobile industry and possibly even our way of life as we know know it. Let's get into it. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla Inc., has spent years making fun of the idea that future green automobiles will be powered by hydrogen fuel cells rather than electric batteries. In June 2020, the CEO of the largest electric car manufacturer in the world tweeted, fuel cells? equal full cells. I just think that they're extremely silly. It's just very difficult to make hydrogen and store it and use it in a car, Musk said at the time. If you, say, took a solar panel and used that to just charge a battery pack directly compared to split water, take hydrogen, dump oxygen, compress hydrogen, it is about half the efficiency. Hydrogen electrolysis initiatives have piqued the interest of large corporations and business executives in recent years, but Musk still appears to be a skeptic. The efficiency of electrolysis is poor, he said. So you really are spending a lot of energy to split hydrogen and oxygen. Then you have to separate the hydrogen and oxygen and pressurize it. This also takes a lot of energy. And if you have to liquefy hydrogen, oh my God, he continued, the amount of energy required to make hydrogen and turn it into liquid form is staggering. It is the dumbest thing that I could possibly imagine for energy storage. Despite Musk's negative views on hydrogen's role in the energy transition, other influential people are a little more upbeat and as a result, new hydrogen cars have been developed by some car companies, which has garnered attention in the automobile sector. In many ways, hydrogen cars seem to be the ideal solution for reducing pollution. But what are they? How do they operate? And should you buy one? As its name suggests, a hydrogen car runs on hydrogen for power. The wheels of hydrogen-powered vehicles are propelled by an electric motor, thanks to fuel cells that utilize hydrogen to generate energy. Actually, it's quite simple to grasp how this works. Hydrogen molecules are pumped into a fuel cell where an anode extracts electrons, which then go through a circuit to the battery to charge it further. The hydrogen, now in the form of ions, enters into a cathode and is rejoined with its electrons and combines with oxygen to produce water which allows it to leave the fuel cell. Most hydrogen fuel cell vehicles also feature a tiny lithium ion battery, similar to that found in a hybrid vehicle, to store electrical energy generated by the fuel cells as it is produced. Driving in a hydrogen car is pretty similar to driving in an electric car. They typically have a single gear, so there are no gear changes, and they respond instantly to accelerator impulses, just like an electric car. Since a hydrogen automobile has brake regeneration similar to an electric vehicle, it can slow down without one having to apply the brakes. The technique for refueling a hydrogen vehicle is identical to that of a gasoline vehicle. You simply pull up to the station, attach the nozzle to the vehicle, and wait three to five minutes for the tanks to fill. Around 10,000 PSI, or about 30 times the pressure of a vehicle tire, is used to store the hydrogen in these tanks. Hydrogen vehicles can recharge faster than battery-powered vehicles. A Tesla can charge anywhere from 30 to 50% at a supercharging station in only 15 minutes, but you'll need to wait longer to get a full charge, which takes over an hour. Fuel cell cars don't need to be charged at all. At a hydrogen station, the hydrogen tank is recharged in less than five minutes, exactly like at a regular gas station today. That's because FCEVs produce electricity on demand to run the motor, rather than storing it, as batteries do. Hydrogen-powered vehicles appear to be the best in terms of range once again. The three fuel cell cars on the road can travel 312, 
360 and 380 miles between charges. The majority of electric cars have less than a 250 mile range. Although some Tesla models have a range of more than 300 miles, their prices are sometimes out of reach for ordinary car customers. Compared to charging an electric vehicle, filling a hydrogen tank is much faster and possibly more convenient. However, as of the middle of 2022, there are only 14 hydrogen refueling stations in the entire UK. The scarcity of refueling stations and the high cost of constructing such infrastructure are definitely the major barriers to the adoption of hydrogen cars. Five of these stations are located within the M25. Fuel cell vehicles, according to 78% of automotive executives, will be the revolution in electric mobility because of their range and refueling fueling durations. However, this does not mean that fuel cell cars are without problems of their own. The fuel cell vehicles now on the market have suggested retail prices of $60,000, which is roughly $20,000 more than a base BEV. This is due to the extremely low production volume of these automobiles. It's practically impossible for prices to be competitive when only a few thousand or a few hundred are produced annually. But that might be about to change. The goal of automakers is to enhance FC CEV production. What is the cost of operating a hydrogen vehicle? Hydrogen is sold in kilograms (kgs) and costs about $12 per kg. One kilogram of hydrogen can cover about 60 miles. Since hydrogen vehicles are considered ultra-low emission vehicles (ULEVs), they are exempt from paying road taxes as long as their list price is less than $40,000. However, all of the available hydrogen-powered vehicles in the UK are more expensive than this amount. So for the first first five years, you will need to pay an extra $310. However, fees associated with clean air zones such as the ULEZ in London do not apply to hydrogen vehicles. According to the EPA, the current average range of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is between 312 and 380 miles. They will need to refill from empty, which will cost them roughly $80, since most drivers don't allow their tanks to run completely empty before refueling, so they usually spend $55 to $65. Automakers already cover that expense by giving leasees prepaid cards good for up to $15,000 worth of fuel over the course of three years. A normal automobile with a huge petrol tank can cost $60 or more to fill up in California, the state with the highest gas prices in the country. We recognize the automakers can't keep paying for fuel and we see the line of sight to get there, but it is a volume game and we need to hit a critical mass, said Shane Stevens, Principal and Chief Development Officer at First Element Fuel, which runs 19 of the 39 hydrogen refueling stations in California and is developing 12 of the 25 additional stations for the state. His company's near-term target is $10 a kg, which would equate to roughly $4 per gallon of gas. That is a good near-term acceptable number to hit in the next three to five years and get people off automaker-subsidized fuel, Stephen said. The cost of the vehicles is still a major issue for hydrogen fuel cell technology. With a starting price of $59,345 compared to the similarly sized Santa Fe's starting price of $24,250, Nexo is the most expensive Hyundai currently available for purchase in the United States. The MSRP for the fuel cell versions of the Toyota Mirai and Honda Clarity is in the $59,000 to $59,999 range. Government rebates are available available for these car purchases. In California, a $5,000 tax credit is available. Leasing has become a popular choice for fuel cells and battery electric automobiles because the technology is new and early adopters do not want to be locked into a current model for an extended period of time as the technology progresses and efficiency improves. Fuel cell costs, like any new technology, should fall as the market grows and obtains economies of scale in production and infrastructure. Honda has a long-term commitment to hydrogen, but you can't sell vehicles without infrastructure, Kumaratne said. According to Stevens, if the market in California reaches a few hundred thousand cars, it will be cost competitive with gasoline. This indicates a significant increase from the 6,000 automobiles sold thus far, although most new auto markets begin with short manufacturing runs. Many skeptics do concur with Elon Musk's reservations about hydrogen fuel cells. According to a recent report released by ID TechX, a research company based in Cambridge, England, fuel cells are less effective than batteries and the cost of creating supporting infrastructure, such as refueling stations, is significantly greater. According to the report, 
support, fuel cell cars will continue to be a commercial failure for the next two decades. And there you have it, great people. Do you think Elon is correct about hydro cars? Will there be an increase in numbers? Let us know in the comments below.